हेलो फ्रेंड सो बिफोर राइटिंग दी एक्स पाथ वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इज़ दी राइट प्लेटफॉर्म टू राइट एंड वेरीफाई एक्स पाथ विच इज़ द करेक्ट प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर शुड वी राइट आर एक्स पाथ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मैनी मैनी ऑफ अस एज अ बिगनर वी हैव लर्न सो मैनी मिसकनसेप्शंस एंड मैनी अ टाइम्स वी लूज इन इंटरव्यू जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई विल शो यू वाई आई एम सेंग सो एंड वॉट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट सो देर आर मल्टीपल वेज दैट वेयर एंड हाउ यू कैन राइट दी एक्स पाथ बिकॉज इन जनरल लाइक एवरीबडी सजेस्ट दैट वी शुड राइट आर ओन एक्स पाथ बट वॉट डज दैट मीन बेसिकली वी आर सेंग दैट वैन वी से दैट वी शुड राइट आर ओन एक्स पाथ वी आर सेंग दैट वी शुड राइट आर एक्स पाथ इन क्रोम डेव टूल्स लेट मी शो यू वॉट आर द मिसकनसेप्शन एंड रॉन्ग थिंग्स वी हैव लर्न टिल टूडे बाई राइटिंग एक्स पाथ इन क्रोम डेव टूल्स एंड मैनी अ टाइम्स यू विल सी दैट Uh, why you uh, you will never understand that why you like uh, got fired from the interview what wrong you did for an example you just click on inspect here open chrome dev tools let me just zoom in yeah okay so this is a very frequently asked question that tell us how many links on this page okay so what we do in general i'm just uh, clarifying the misconception before we go into the next tutorial so yeah so what we do we write the x path as a double forward slash a for now if you don't know x path how to write i'm just uh, don't worry this is how we start so i'm just giving an example double forward slash a but here if you see that when you write double forward slash a in chrome dev tools it actually matches the string as well like wherever it will match the string like double forward slash a this is a string this is not an anchor tag if it is an anchor tag a tag then it's fine then it should show if if it is showing then it is fine that okay that is a link correct but this is not the x path matching this is the string matching so here it is showing 89 matching node which is wrong there are not 89 links in this page let's verify same thing with the help of selector sub <coughs> press enter it is showing 63 so basically there are 63 links on this page and all these links are here these are all the links so this is what we have to learn you have to learn about uh, so now we got to know that there are uh, 63 links on this page and uh, these are all 63 link here while here in chrome dev tools it is showing 89 which is wrong there are not 89 links on this page because it is showing 89 because it is matching a string as well so basically chrome dev tools is not to verify x path only remember this chrome dev tools is not to verify just x path it is also to search the keyword if you delete this you will see read the the sentence what they say find by string selector or x path so if you search by this it is also matching the string double forward slash a so use selector sub because uh like many a times you might if your x path you have written some x path if that will match as a string as well in this dom then it will show matching result and you might might be like keep struggling that okay i have to make it unique or if it is not finding why it is finding more than one matching nodes and all so that misconception will not be there and you will not be wasting your time another thing like uh, while writing x path here in chrome dev tools you have to just to write one x path you have to inspect multiple times same element like this double forward slash a if you are writing like this you see that you will have to copy this value and then you have to type everything here and that space will be there so you will be deleting it manually and everything will be doing you will be doing and even after that it will not be like uh, making i guess unique expert so you see then lot of things you will have to do so much time waste but here if you are doing uh, here in selectors so you see that auto suggest you used to get like this and quickly you can complete along with their occurrences so this is really advantage uh, like it gives the correct information correct expert also like as a beginner if you write some wrong expert here in chrome dev tools if you miss something then it will show you zero of zero it will not tell you that what is uh, like what is wrong in your selector so that also it will help you selector sub will help you to learn like close square bracket is missing if you do anything wrong here it will tell you that 
after four hours less what is allowed what is not allowed so this is right platform to right x path apart from this like if you uh, go to like any element which is like svg element if there are like like these elements svg elements so chrome dev tools that also doesn't support like if you inspect this element let's say this is svg if you right click and copy this x path what chrome dev tools gives you will see that that is a zero matching node which is wrong if you paste this x path here in uh, selectors hub you will get to know that invalid xvg x path format so what is the correct format then here you can get it or if you want to write your own x path you just write like this you see it gives the right format so you would be able to learn and the information as well you will get similarly like shadow dom if you have to uh, write x path for shadow dom or selectors you have to write that also like it is not possible and uh, actually like chrome dev tools doesn't support shadow dom so that is another challenge and people feel like okay uh, <coughs> uh, this is how like they just right click and copy x path and then keep wasting time okay why this x path is not working so this zero of zero it is showing while here if, if you paste the same thing it will tell you that x path doesn't support shadow dom so you get the correct information here in selectors up there are many misconception people uh, we all have learned because nothing was available we considered that this is an standard but no this is not the right way so i hope like uh, this will help and you can use the console as well but tough to verify and write x path here in console like every time you will have to do dollar x and then you have to go back here also you can open console here as well but yeah this is like that will be complicated too much time wasting here doing this way and also again that shadow dom things will not support and you will have to do a lot of hacks by there so it will waste a lot of time selector sub is really fast and really uh, super powerful to write and learn more about xpath so uh, i'm sure like you can install it how to install selector sub it's very straightforward you come here and for whichever browser you are using you can just click on uh, that particular link here and okay let me just remove it as i have already uh, added in my browser so you come here on selectorsub.com i will leave the link in the below and whichever browser let's say chrome we want so click on chrome here it will open add to chrome add extension and it will be added successfully here so once it is added here you will see that it will not show the icon over here you will have to click on this icon and pin it to toolbar then you would be able to see here click on this you will get a uh, instruction here and everything to use this tool and it's very simple like after uh, adding it either you restart the browser or whatever tabs are open just refresh them so then it will work and now you can just right click click on inspect here and you will see if you doesn't find selector sub here in the dom make sure you just click on these two arrow it will be the last tab here or else what you do you just expand it it will be always last tab okay click here you will get it here and here you can write your own x path like this simple and you will get all the right information anything you will be doing wrong it will tell you so this is really helpful install it and in the next lecture we will see write x path using x path function and uh, more we will see in the coming lectures now let's jump into the like uh, writing the actual x path with using x path function in the next tutorial thank you